with all the great decorative stitches in the Faf machine, there's a fun way to combine them and make your own stitch combinations. And that is going to be done in the sequencing area. So see where it says A and the heart and a B? When you go in there, everything will kind of turn blank. That means if you go up to the blank little corner where your normal stitch number is, you can start here and pick a decorative stitch. So if I want to stitch number, pick stitch 143, it will start to add that stitch to a sequence. And then if I, let's say I want 145 next, 145. Now if I was to go ahead and sew these, it would just go ahead and stitch kind of the two patterns back and forth, back and forth. So if we want to go ahead and see, I love this start stop button that can get us going. And it will just go ahead and flip over to the main screen and so show me how to stitch this. If I want to have it end at the end of a pattern, touch the stitch restart button. It sews to the end and then locks it. So let's see what we've got going here. So we put in two patterns and now we have an entirely new pattern started as we went from leaves to flowers to leaves. And it just is amazing how many different combinations you can put in here. You can actually go in and put in it mirror image. So if I wanted to flip something left or right or up or down, if it's highlighted, I can do something to it. So you can see how I flip flop that as well. The trash can, if you touch the trash can one time, it will delete whatever's highlighted. If you touch and hold it, and that's what that little uh, little arrow at the bottom right corner means that if I touch and hold it, that will delete everything. Actually, it will delete it. All right, so next, if I just go ahead, I can put in quite a few different uh, patterns. It's just a matter of what you have that you want to experiment with. 182, and then keep adding stitches. Let's go ahead and put in one more stitch just so it looks like we've got something going on here. 176. Fun, fun. Let me show you how you save in the sequence into the machine's memory. You see there's a heart and then the, there's a heart with the arrow pointing into it. So if you want to save to your favorites, touch the one with the arrow pointing in. And then go ahead and do the check mark for saving it. And you'll see it showing up in the save sequence screen. There we go. Let's go ahead. We'll just do one other one. We'll just uh, put in a few other stitches. How about number 117 and 145? Okay, and I want to save that one. Then I'll go ahead and select row two and do the check mark, and that will add that stitch. Then when I'm ready to sew, let's see here, let me come all the way out here, maybe even get back to a regular straight stitch. If I want to re retrieve the patterns that I've saved, go into sequencing, go to the heart, and now it will say load sequence. So if I touch uh, the sequence in the number one area, touch the check mark, that will load the stitch and get it ready to sew. And once again, if you do want to delete any of those, you can come over and delete the stitches and then save it. You can practically just override and it will empty out those little areas if you confirm that you want to override with a blank memory. Then when you're done, just go back to the regular main menu if you're ready to sew a straight stitch.